Hey everyone, we're stick with us versus herd. If it's your first time here, let the content hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications for when we post videos, tap the bell. And if you want to subscribe to our options trading live channel, link is below in the description. I go live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before our market open. And if you want to join the UVH fam, our amazing options community, link is below in the description to our Discord and our options trading group on Facebook. If you made money today, comment got paid. Let me know what you got paid on below in the comments. And if you lost money today comment learned a lesson you know just because other people made money today doesn't mean you necessarily did sometimes i lose money when everyone made money and vice versa it is what it is you know all depends on your positions and what you're what you're trying to do so if you could do me a big favor hit the like button definitely appreciate it now today obviously everyone and their everyone's trading trading zoom zoom off to all-time highs here I mean, it was up 40% today. And that was running from 300 to 325 the day prior. And now it's up 40%. I mean, it ripped up $132 today. And it actually hit 478. It was even, was even higher at one point. So I did close the day up 22, a little bit over $2,200 in realized gains, mostly to Zoom. Now, Zoom, I was in a debit spread. So the debit spread that made me the money today is I bought this debit spread for 955 yesterday and then I sold the day for 33 bucks. Um, I had the I was long the 330 call and short the 370. So I had a debit spread on. Definitely wish I still had the 300 call that I had. I mean, I sold it for a hundred dollar loss yesterday. That 300 call. Let me just see what it's worth. What, what expiration was I trading? I was trading. Yeah, this week. Yeah, a little risky. So this week, I the, the 300 call, where's the 300 call? Yeah, the 300 call, oh, I'm on DocuSign, my bad. <laughs> it's been, it's been, a, it been kind of a weird day. 300 call, yeah, yes, whew, definitely wish I still had this. I mean, it's going for 159. What was the high? What did it reach? Yeah, this ripped up to 164. So yeah, that would have been, that would have been nice, but is what it is. I lowered my risk. I mean, like, like that's that's what happens sometimes when when you lower your risk and you try to be safe. You're obviously going to leave a ton of profits on the table. But if you could be consistent, you don't really get too worried about it. If you could stay consistently profitable and keeping your losses to a minimal, you're going to be okay. Um, but I mean, cloud stocks. I'll, I'll cover some of these other stocks that I have going on right now. You know, kind of what I'm looking for tomorrow. But cloud stocks. You know, Zoom seemed to definitely have you know, been a catalyst for these other stocks because you have, you have zoom going up 40% and then DocuSign along with it. DocuSign was up another 20% today. I'm currently, I currently am long DocuSign. I did buy the dip here at 250, but DocuSign, you know, was coming up on some resistance here around 225, 230 area. And now today had a huge green candle due to obviously Zoom earnings and Zoom has earnings on Thursday. So my plan for DocuSign right now is I have a debit spread on here. I am short the, I'm in September 18th. I'm, I'm long the 260 and I'm short the 310. So for this trade today, I put this on today actually, when it was around 350 today on DocuSign. So I bought it for 11, 1170 right now at 1110 AM. So DocuSign, that's, that position is up 300 bucks or up 25% currently. So my, my plan for DocuSign is kind of let it run up. It definitely, at this point, I mean, it hit after hours, hit 279. It could definitely go over 300 before earnings. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it will or not, but I mean, it's up $45 a day. I mean, we're seeing huge momentum just all over cloud stocks in general. So my plan is to take off the debit spread before earnings, then switch to some credit, credit put spreads, just to be a little bit safe. Cause since it's ran so much already, I don't know how much more it can run. I mean, sure. It could run up to three, 350, 400 if it wants to. But I mean, at the end of the day, you just don't know. You don't know what they're going to say. You know, the one thing about zoom, what they did was not only did they beat expectations by a ton, but they also raised guidance. So that's the big thing. The forward outlook is looking really, really good. So that's why Zoom is Zoom is running. If, if Zoom is doing what some of the other stocks did, like, like Best Buy, for instance. Best Buy smashed their quarterly earnings, right? But 
they went down because their guidance, they said, hey, we don't know how long this is sustainable. We don't know if this is gonna continue like this and they had uncertainty in their business. But Zoom, on the other hand, I know is 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 they they said that we raise guidance, things are good. We're gonna continue to see growth. So that's what people wanna see with earnings. That's what a lot of people don't understand about earnings. It's all about the guidance. Like they're like, oh, I don't understand. They, they crushed earnings, what happened? Why are they down? It's because guidance is bad. You're not gonna invest in a company that the, the own C -level, their own C-level team thinks they're not gonna be doing well next quarter or next year, you know, or at the same pace. So just be mindful of that. But right now you can see kind of across the board, you know, DocuRen, even even Netflix ran hard today. You know, kind of kind of like these Corona safe stocks and some of the cloud stocks definitely run. Netflix, you know, bottomed out here. This was a buy yesterday. I was actually short. I actually lost nine dollars on a short on yesterday. If you saw my video from yesterday. I was short Netflix a little bit, lost $9 because I'm like, hey, it's not going down. It's just not going down. I thought maybe it would give some up. Wanted to, I wanted to be short. It was my first time in months being short anything. Lost $9 and it just ripped and then continued to rip today. So, you know, the Peloton as well. If you look at Peloton, Peloton, Corona Safe stock ran up to 85 I mean, just, just insane. CRM this afternoon, another cloud stock. Another cloud stock. I mean, just they they were kind of flat all intraday. And the thing is, this morning, you know, S and P's were red, Dow was red, Nasdaq was green, but things were things were kind of on the fence. We were real, real choppy all day. I mean, if you look at Spy here, yes, we ripped up, but pretty much all day, just like pinging back and forth, pinging back and forth. And then, you know, it wasn't towards the end of the day where we started seeing some momentum, and now Spy is taking off. And, you know, I don't know if this is FOMO, if money's just being pushed into the market, if it's because the Fed said, hey, your savings accounts are going to be worthless. You're not going to make any money in your savings account. Let's throw it all in the stocks. I don't know what the case is here. But what I can look at is what the price action is. And the price action right now, you know, it's extremely, extremely bullish. CRM, you know, pinging back all day and then rip from 273 all the way up to 280. You know, square, square. It's not really a cloud stock, but gapped up and ran up to 170. You know, and hell, it closed at 166, but just just kind of holding. Walmart today, Walmart released that they're going to be launching Walmart Plus on September 15th, which is two weeks from today. You know, I currently have a Walmart position on right now. I also have a debit spread, but I have it for October, so plenty of time on here. I'm up 79% on it already. It was a, it was a smaller position, definitely. You know, I mean, I definitely wish I went in a lot bigger, but it is what it is. I only bought three contracts. They cost me a dollar twenty-two a piece. You know, so that's why I'm up. I'm up seventy-nine percent already. But you know, Walmart ran up nine dollars today. It hit one forty-nine fifty-nine, and Walmart, you know, they're going to be competing with Amazon, and Amazon is. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens with Amazon. I mean, Amazon moves up today too, but I mean, if you if you look at Walmart. You know, it gave some back and then it just pushed through clean on that news. I mean, it ran up. You know, I was looking, like I said before, I was looking to put a position on for the Walmart Plus news around the 130. And then TikTok news really just kind of pushed it out. And I didn't know if I was going to be able to re-enter, but because we had a couple red days here, I was able to get in. To, well, we had one red day, I guess. There was one red day. I entered, and then that Walmart Plus news came out, and it caused it to skyrocket. So we're seeing some, you know, huge moves on these stocks right now. Um, you know, I'm also selling some premium. I'm selling some premium in American Airlines. I have an at the money iron Condor. I'm selling some premium on Lyft as well, which is you know down a little bit for the, for this week expiration, and I am long Home Depot. I do have a credit spread on here for a couple of weeks out. It's currently up a little bit. You know, I've been, honestly like my strategy right now is just playing it real low and slow. As you guys know, like the last week, I last week, the week before that, basically just kind of been breaking even, pinging back and forth between wins and losses, pinging back and forth. So this week we're having more of a breakout. And Home Depot, what I like, you know, came back down. It ripped up. If we go back a couple days here, it likes this 284 area. Ripped up, came down, and now we came back down to 282, 284, and now it's, it's trying to make it round up. So I definitely think that it's going to push back up to 290. Uh, Tesla was down today due to the news regarding the what do they say? They're, oh, they're going to have an offering, a share offering. So. 
Right now, this is at this is at 480 after hours. I mean, Tesla is. I mean, they were due. They were due a red day. I mean, even though this red day is only like you know four percent, they've been moving huge. Didn't even give up any of its gains from yesterday. You know, didn't even come back down to 440, 460 area. So. You know, Tesla is definitely one to watch. I'm kind of watching from the sidelines right now because I'm not sure what's going to happen with Tesla. And Apple is up again, pushing out the 5G news. So it seems like it seems like all the stocks are having some sort of catalyst. There's there's news happening, which this is the kind of market that I particularly enjoy. I like when stocks have catalysts. I don't like when they're trading off like political news or some data that someone makes up at CNBC or CNN, like, oh, maybe this will happen or maybe this will happen, or even the trade war news. I like when there's a catalyst regarding the actual company, like something good or something bad is happening to that actual company. That makes it way, way easier to trade. And this is kind of the the, the, the trading that makes me excited. Once we get back to that is, I mean, that's what I hope for. I mean, because this year has been relatively quiet regarding the politics, you know, Biden and, and Trump are facing off in a, what eight weeks nine weeks here for presidency but like who's talking about it nobody normally during the election season they start early in the summer spring pumping out polls pumping out oh this person may win or this person may win this may happen in the market this may happen in the market. everyone's been real quiet about it which is uh, kind of eerie in a way like why are they so quiet about the election I don't know. I mean, the U.S. election is a huge event for Americans. So why aren't they talking about it? I mean, it's just honestly, it's just kind of weird. But we'll we'll see what happens here. But you know, overall, good day. Just kind of, I I took some profits. I was I, I mainly just been kind of chill. Took profits, redeployed some capital, and kind of see what it does. So if you watch this video to the end, comment, watch to the end. We're gonna see what happens with these cloud stocks. We're gonna keep running them up. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus herd.